So in a recent survey in 2015, 48% of Americans said that they did not have enough time today to do all the things they wanted to do. Now reflect a little bit upon you know when you have thought that to yourself. How many times have you said, I don't have enough time or I can't do all the things I want to do? If we think about it, we've probably thought that plenty of times, right? And I think the answer to this is to become more efficient. So over my years as a medical student, I've learned how to be more effective with my time, how to be more productive and efficient. And so today's video is all about how to maximize your productivity. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Austin Wynn and I'm a third year medical student based out of Chicago. Today's video, the reason why you clicked on it is because you wanna learn how to be more efficient and productive. And I'm gonna show you three ways to do that. Using these methods in this video, I'm gonna share with you, I've been able to do so much over the past three years as a medical student, and I'm gonna share a little bit about that right now. So currently, I'm on my surgery rotation, one of the toughest ones in medical school, and I'm working 60 to 70 hours a week in the hospital. In addition to that, I'm studying about 10 hours a week to keep up with my exams for medical school. I also work a job 10 to 12 hours a week doing a tutoring for step one, which is a standardized exam that medical students take, so I've been tutoring students for that. I work on research projects, I've already published five manuscripts, and three of them I have first authors, so these are just research articles in the field of orthopedics. I go to church every single Sunday, I still see my girlfriend, my family, and friends. I work out five times a week for about one hour, and you might be thinking, how the heck does this guy do all that? And you know, as I'm saying it right now, I'm like, wow, that does sound like a lot. And you know, am I Mike Ross? Am I Goodwill Hunting? I told you, I like to read. And once I read something, I understand it. And once I understand it, I never forget. No, of course not, right? I think the key to doing all this is to be more efficient. I don't want to share all this stuff just to toot my own horn, but I want to show all of you that it's possible to do these things, and I hope this video could be helpful to all of you. So the first tip I have for you to be more efficient and to have more time is don't waste time. This sounds dumb, right? But seriously, don't waste time. As I look at my phone right now, there's something called screen time. I'm sure you're all aware of it. I'm looking and look how much time I'm spending on social media and doing things that are non-productive. You know, when I see these things, it's like, wow, do I really have that much time to be wasting on these things? You know, as you realize how much time you're wasting and you take those things out, you can realize how much time you can save and that helps you get more things done, be more efficient and be more productive. So what I recommend for these things is to limit yourself, how much you're using social media, how much you're using text messages, and only focus on the things that are gonna help you be efficient. That doesn't mean you can't take breaks, right? Breaks are encouraged, and I'm gonna to get to that on my second and third points that I'm gonna make. But the first thing is really, don't waste time. How often am I sitting on the, you know, YouTube watching NBA Media Day videos or watching highlights, and it goes to another video and another video, and I realize I've been on YouTube for two hours. You know, how often are you on TikTok and you keep scrolling through and the algorithms just got you you can't blame the algorithm you know you're in control of how often you're picking up that cell phone or wasting time you know when you're doing those things your brain is wandering you're not focused and when you go back to doing your work test it can be really hard so we need to not waste time and that allows us to be more efficient and more productive it sounds very simple but check your own screen time Make sure you're minimizing the time that you're wasting. And once you see how much time per week and per day you're spending on your cell phone, I think you'll realize that that's a lot of time you can save. People say they have, don't have time to work out. You can't exercise 30 minutes a day. That's what's recommended, right? You know, it's great for your heart. You know, I'm speaking from a medical standpoint as well as just, you know, there's so much research that shows uh, how working out and exercising prolongs your life expectancy, how, how working out is great for stress relief and so many positive things that go with exercise let alone taking care of your body so how can you not exercise for five hours a week but you can be on Instagram TikTok, and Facebook for 10 hours right it just doesn't make sense so that's number one don't waste your time so number two is the age-old saying study smarter and not harder you've heard it all the time but do you apply it
So what I mean by this is taking advantage of the research that's already been done. In 1885, Hermann Ebbinghaus came up with the forgetting curve. If you're not aware of what this is, let me show you an image of this. So the forgetting curve basically shows that as time elapses, when you learn something new or you do something, right, you're going to forget it as time goes on. Some studies say that you forget as much as 50% of something you learned in just one hour after. And so as that time progresses, you're forgetting information that's key to being more productive and efficient in your day, right? The more you have to study something because you keep forgetting it, the time you are wasting and that you could be using that time to do something else. So the forgetting curve is shown here and so at these intervals you need to reinforce what you learned but not do it too often or too little and so there are programs designed to do spaced repetition where you can learn material be more efficient and you basically review something right as you're about to forget it these programs are designed to work according to your memory so this is focused more on studying skills it might not be as applicable to those that are talking about how to be more productive in their work life and their workspaces but studying is something that I think all of us do as human beings we're lifelong learners and if you be more efficient in terms of studying you can have more time for other things in your job your work or your everyday to day life so there are programs such as Anki it's a flashcard system that I talk about all the time on my channel check out my videos on how to set up Anki how to get the right add-ons how to use it how to make your own flashcards all of that's going to help you be more efficient and effective because Anki is designed to show you a flashcard right as you're about to forget it, which allows you to reinforce your learning memory. So it combines space repetition using that forgetting curve to enhance your memory to its fullest potential. So if your memory is better and stronger, of course you're gonna be more efficient, productive, and effective every single day. So my third and final point is to not multitask. You know, this might sound crazy to you, right? It might seem like, well, if you wanna be more efficient and effective, shouldn't you do multiple things at once? Well, actually that's not true. You know, research is now showing that single tasking is gonna be more efficient than multitasking. Let me just bring up a scenario for you. You know, when's the last time you tried to do homework or work on a project, an Excel sheet, or anything while you were eating, right? You probably realize that you're now eating twice as slow and you're now working twice as slow so all of a sudden you know eating something that I find very enjoyable and it's a nice little break you combine it with something you might not enjoy which is work and now both things are taking twice as long so instead of just taking that 35 minutes to an hour to eat your meal and enjoy that time watch a TV show or something you're trying to work while eating and now working and eating together is taking two hours and now you just wasted an hour to do the same amount of work you could have got done in one hour if you were focused. So recent neuroscience studies show that the human brain doesn't actually ever multitask. So for all of you who think that you're really good at multitasking, you're actually just really good at switching between different things. So in one sense, your brain's doing one thing, then when you think you're multitasking, it's really switching to another thing. So a common example that's used is, let's say you have a piece of paper, right? And you draw two lines on the paper paper and then the first line I want you to write numbers 1 through 20 on that and then the second line I want you to write the sentence I'm really really great at multitasking you know if you do that in a single task form like you draw one line you write 1 through 20 then you draw another line you write I'm really really great at multitasking you're gonna finish a lot faster than trying to do it at the same time like writing one number then one letter one number then one letter because your brain is just switching between tasks even though it feels like you're doing it at the same time time and so single tasking over multitasking allows you to be more efficient finish things quicker stay more focused and literally save time in so many different ways it's a lot easier to focus fully on one thing than focus fully on another thing than focus fully on another thing and try to do all those three things at one time so you need to single task and not multitask and stay focused while you're single tasking and the way you can do this is actually to incorporate another thing I like and that's Pomodoro intervals I'm sure you've heard a lot about this it's been very popular in recent years but pretty much a Pomodoro interval it's different for everyone but what we want to do is set a set amount of time for you to study and be focused without distractions and then give yourself a break to incentivize yourself so this could be different for everyone you can experiment with different timetables and time intervals but for example you can work for 30 minutes and take a five minute break 30 minutes take a five minute break 30 minutes take a five minute break then after five sets of those 30 minutes you can take a bigger break for about 10 to 15 minutes or sometimes I'll do 50 minutes and 10 minutes off 50 minutes of studying and 10 minutes off another 50 minutes 10 minutes off you find what works best for you and 
You know, for me, different tasks might require a different Pomodoro interval, but it's really important to incorporate this because new studies have shown that the human brain maximally can only stay hyper-focused for about 90 minutes before it needs a break. So if you're just there hammering away and studying for six straight hours, you're being very inefficient. You know, you're really probably only getting like four good hours out of six hours of being seated as opposed to being efficient with Pomodoro intervals. You can do multiple things at once. Study for an hour, do some laundry for 10 minutes, study for an hour, do some cooking for 10 minutes or meal prepping, like little things like that, or even like using your 10 minutes to watch an Instagram video. I love watching golf videos, I love watching the NBA, like all these things, like you can do those in your breaks and then that recharges your brain, it boosts your mood, it gets your energy up, you can go back and hyper focus again for another Pomodoro interval. So I've linked some uh, articles in the description for all the things I've been talking about, but these are my three main pieces of advice for you to be more efficient, effective, and productive. And I hope that it was helpful to all of you. You know, these are little strategies that I use every single day when I'm studying, working in the hospital, working on research papers, working out, like making time for family and friends and traveling, making YouTube videos for all of you. I think it's really important to have that work-life balance. And when you have a good work-life balance, a lot of times it requires you to be efficient and productive with your time. We can always all improve on those things. And I'm not perfect either. I'm still working on a lot of things, but I hope that this video was helpful to all of you so if you found it helpful don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i wish you all the best watch this video on 1.5 times speed and you'll be even more productive have a great week